Hey everyone, I posted a video about probably five years ago and uh, from the uh, private to public so there are a lot of people ask me you know about uh, how to uh, play the arhu and how to make the uh, right sound actually I already uh, have uh, some details information in that video okay for this video I want to answer a YouTube question from a customer. He asked me about the bow. So when I play the arhu, move the hair from outside to inside. So whether we need to move the bow stick. I was said, no. You know what? If you do this way, you will hear the noisy. But uh, when you play, of course, your bow stick is more slightly. Suddenly from outside to inside, no. So how to control the hair? That's the question. And most people you know, cannot get sound, they have a couple of reasons. The one, they play the instrument you know, when they move the bow or uh, with the notes, your body like a sleep part. Why I said that? Because you move bow. So it sounds like this. Why? Because you didn't use your chi to control the whole body. Just like you're singing, if you know how to control your chi, now you can make better sound. For example, so when I move my bow, my chi, all the chi, body chi, goes to my fingers, goes to this fingers, and to hold my bow to make the better sound. Listen. I didn't use muscle here, so now I'm, I will use my muscle. No muscle. It's different, right? So just like you want to move a table, move something heavy, you need to breathe in. Then you can lift a heavy things. Play the instrument, same principle. So if you want to play a power sound, For the sound, remember, use the chi. And the second, uh, I want to resolve the problem, how to control a bow. And a lot of people, when they play, the bow always uh, beats in the strings to so make it noisy. Actually, watch my this hand. I, last time uh, I record uh, the video, I said three points. That's the one point, and the one point on that here, on your index finger and the thumb and the, this two fingers middle finger and the ring finger is, is for control the uh, uh, the hair go to inside strings so when I'm moving like that so. Yeah. so even I move to inside strings so I just need to move the two fingers from middle finger in fingers so tight Actually, move slash. You know what? Two strings of space between the two strings. The space is very small. That means you just uh, tie it here to inside. Loose finger, all side. See? Okay, let me show you detail. Inside, outside, right? Fall like this. So you just keep the in a bow stick on the resonator. But of course. They move a little bit, it's normal, but uh, don't do this way, it's not right. Okay. And uh, another problem is everybody using different styles of arhu. So I use a kind of uh, an uh, A side and uh, over uh, sharp you know, uh, arhu. And also have uh, over sharp arhu like this. And also traditional styles are the most people use this kind because the angle is different you see the resonator this part of the angle is different so you just try to keep your bow on this side don't 
Slow down air, air is not right. Now your bow will be like sounds like this. So always sitting, sitting on the rhythm. Tight here, inside. See? Moving like this. Now hold this hand. And most people uh, just put their fingers on string. Actually, I send my energy on my fingers. So if it, you don't send your energy on your finger, the sound's not good enough. You, that means that I want to control the, uh, the sound and you know, the tone color. For example, I need to control the pitch and also control the sound quality. So, a little bit of vibrato. For harmonic, I don't need to press too much. Okay. And uh, for over sharp resonator instrument. This is tricky because uh, this one is a new instrument. The skin is still very tight. Yeah. Um, and also the bow is not high quality, but I still try my best to control the sound. Because the the arvo bow stick is a, is a very thin, so very easy goes so this way. Yeah, very easy. So how to control it? I using uh, two way. One is to move the bow a little bit fast. If it's too slow, too slow you need to pressure. <laughs> so pressure, of course, the bow will go this way, and also hold, most of the way hold the bow, the end of the uh, end of the school part. But I just move this this way a little bit, not too much. And also, uh, when you move the bow here, you can see here like uh, the bow. You know, very easy to uh, cut it. But from this side, your you have to use your finger to press down, press down, press down a little bit. Now you can. Now one is can you know keep the. Uh, Bow stick on the resonator. The second can make the hair well touched on three. Yeah. yeah, if we just move it, it sounds like this. If we press a little bit, bending, bending, a little bit, bending, a little bit. Yeah, it, maybe you can't see it, but I can feel, use your, use your thumb to feel it. So this thumb press down a little bit. Now inside string, Use this point to tie the hair. Now you can make it go sound. Today, uh, this video is just answer uh, the question and you know, whether when you move the bow, uh, change the strings, the stick you need to uh, keep on one side. Yes, just most time keep on one side, and also. Keep the bow stick on the resonator. Don't floating on the air because uh, you make noisy, make noisy like this. Shake it. Yeah, sounds very bad. Okay. Anyway, if you have any question, you just send an e either email. I have email on the um, the information um, under the video, and also you can you know just like uh, most people you know uh, text me. You know I do my best to answer your question. Because uh, uh, we have so many top players in China and also on the YouTube and different medias. You know, when I was young, yes. <laughs>
not to move fast. Yeah, so usually when I play, I just put my hand to the warm water to, to warm my hands or play the slow piece first. But take a little time, maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes, make your um, the muscle then, uh, warm up. Now you can play fast piece. And also for the new instruments, and you know, also I got a question. They said the sound is not good. Of course, all the new instruments, same thing. This are who? And uh, six months ago, the sound is not good. But still, I need to find a way to make uh, uh, to improve the sound. And before the sound is small, and I can hear the sound as most high frequency in the sound very sharp. Now it's a thick sound. Anyway, if you have a question, okay, send an email to me, and uh, hopefully you now this video can you know, help you to learn the instrument. I'm not a teacher, and I'll give you uh, the the music uh, one by one, one you know, step by step. Yes, I, I can teach it that way, but uh, most of uh, the videos I want to post is to uh, resolve the problem, you know, because there's so many teachers on the YouTube, you know, they are very good player and some are top level player they already show you you know the best they have but my uh, experience is from the uh, um, learning uh, different kind of instruments from wind instruments percussion instruments and the uh, plaque string instruments to bow strings the bow string have a uh, different kind of bow strings uh, next uh, video maybe i will show you different things in the uh, whole i you know self-learning you know different kind of instruments the bow instrument uh, to most people is very, very difficult. Yeah. Okay, if you like my video, and uh, I'm up. Thank you.